Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back, excuse me, and I'm also itchy <laughs> with a box. I have my Tamed Wild for October 2021. So if y'all are new to my channel, hello and welcome. On my channel I like to do witchy subscription unboxings as well as one self-care subscription box, tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews, and sometime soon we are going to be doing a lot more things with tarot. I want to do some um, tutorials on tarot because that's my love. So again, we've got our Tamed Wild for October. And just so you guys know, I'm not getting all of my boxes this month um, because I canceled them because I'm moving. I don't know that I should have canceled them. I probably should have like delay them. Some of them I don't think you can, but anyways, I wanted to wait until I moved and I want to reevaluate what I want to do with my life <laughs> and decide if I want to keep doing these boxes. Um, I know you guys, I've had several of you guys say that you still want me to do it, um, but I need to see what my finances look like because right now I'm working my ass off to pay my son's wedding and I want to pay off some credit cards and all that good stuff. So we're going to see once I get into my new apartment like how much everything costs and all that and um, see if I can afford these boxes. So anyways, I am going to keep getting my currently the only box that I did not cancel was my witch casket because I love witch casket to vanilla. Um, and then some of these like the tamed wild like I purchased like several months. So I've got two more Tamed Wild after this in what I already purchased. And then my Wolf and Time, I've got three more. And that may be it. I don't know. I may subscribe here and there when I get paid. I might do like a three month with this one and then the next time do whatever. So anyways, okay, moving right along. So we have a Book of Spirits and it's got Hecate on front. Oh yeah, or at least that's who it looks like to me, um, and the cow in the bed. So it looks like, um, like a triple goddess, but it looks like Hecate to me. So, Book of Spirits, ghosts, guides, fairies, angels, archetypes, goddesses, and gods may seem mysterious, but these entities have been around since the beginning. For generations, their names have shown up in children's literature, ghost stories, and nearly forgotten folklore. Before then, they were worshipped by ancient civilizations until their voices silenced and their culture abandoned. Today, these spirits are the friends of witches, psychics, energy workers, and those who visit the other world. Their stories have evolved over time, perhaps the spelling of their name altered and the pronunciation no longer correct, but they should be honored just the same. Petition these spirits at thresholds, ask for directions when facing a crossroad, Share your secrets, ask for favors, make magic, and above all, listen to your intuition. Look for messages in dreams, nature, and meditation. Relationships with spirits should be mutually beneficial. You will both work for what you receive. You will both work for what you receive. Okay. This book serves as an introduction to 100 of our favorite spirits. We encourage you to research, bond, and work with these energies, with the energies that speak with, to you. Okay, so it has like animal allies, there's like ascended masters, banshees, there's like different other names in here, the maiden, mothman, mothman, I think my boyfriend's in the hall, huh. Oya, the phoenix, cool, so there's like all kinds of different, um, and there's like not really pictures or anything in here, it's just, um, It's just a bunch of wording. So there we go. And then we've got some cards in here that we won't really look at just yet. Oh, this is hilarious. Guys, I just got a key. Oh my God, I love it. So it says, spirits of old, spirits of new, may this key unlock a story that is useful, pure, and true. I just did a spell last night involving a key. Damn it, where's my key? It's over there. I'm supposed to be keeping this key with me. Anyways, I am wanting to get the keys of my apartment like ASAP and I did a spell to 
to get the keys next week. And then to get a key in this box, I feel like this is a sign. This is a synchronicity. All right, let's see if it says something about this. Skeleton keys. In the old world, our ancestors used skeleton keys to communicate with the spirit world. They called it clytomancy. Divining with keys is similar to dousing with a pendulum. The practitioner dangles a skeleton key from a string. Oh, wait a minute. The practitioner dangles a skeleton key from a string to the owner of the key to interpret answers from the key's movements. I think I just was doing a project with my coven and my, um, my portion, most of my portion was like different types of divination and I think I read about this. Um, we can also incorporate a sacred text into this ritual combining clytomancy. Okay, maybe this is like a whole ritual. Maybe I'm like reading this out of turn. Okay, I won't read this because it goes into like a ritual with all of this stuff. So anyways, all right, next we have a, just a little glass uh, tea light holder with a white tea light candle. I'm assuming it has something to do with the ritual. Tea light and holder during Samhain or whenever the veil is thin, we place a lit candle in a window to welcome the spirit world into our home. We can also rest a candle on our altar to invite spirit into our sacred space. For this ritual, ritual, rest the tea light near the glass ball as a light source for scrying. <gasps> Speaking of glass ball, oh my gosh. Look! And then it's got a little holder. Oh, cool. Look at all the facets in there. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, let's see what it says. Does it say anything? Shattered glass crystal ball. Although crystal balls made from quartz or gemstone are beautiful and carry their own metaphysical and magical properties, using a glass ball or another reflective surface for scrying is just as effective. For this ritual, we'll be practicing clairvoyance through the ancient art of scrying with a crystal ball. For more information on scrying and how to do it, refer to the card labeled Scrying, a step-by-step -step guide. So they, um, they gave us this little card. Look at the cool key. And then it's a step-by-step -step guide on scrying. So... Sorry, my phone's ringing. So I actually, you guys have heard me talk about my coven. I am a mentor and initiated priestess into um, the Awakened Soul Coven, which is run by Ethany. And um, she is currently holding an outer court, um, like six sessions, I think six Zoom calls um, with information on different areas of witchcraft, kind of an introductory, introductory um, little free course. So um, if you guys are interested in that, I'm going to link it below. It is, we've already done like three calls, but they're all recorded. You'll be able to go back and watch them. So if you're interested in learning some more um, just about witchcraft in general, or if you're interested in kind of seeing how our coven runs, um, I encourage you to sign up for these free these free uh, Zoom meetings with Ethany and the rest of all of us. Um, they're a great resource and they're super fun and very informative. So um, I'll link that below. And if you guys decide after um, all of the Zoom classes, we're going to be ending it on Samhain, which is Halloween, October 31st, for those of you that don't know that term. And we're going to be doing a Samhain ritual. So that's going to be great. It's going to be all the inner circle, like coven members, plus all the outer circle people that are kind of just checking, checking in to see if they like it. Um, and she is offering if you guys want to join our coven right now, as well as the first kind of um, learning module that runs for a year. It's like your year and a day work um, to learn about our coven to bond with the coven members and to learn about um, witchcraft in general. And 
then at the end, if you guys do that maiden circle, um, you can choose or not choose to be actually initiated into the coven and then move on to the next tier, which is the mother circle. And then in 2023, we'll have the crone circle. So anyways, also, if you join the coven, you will have a, um, an option for an add-on course, which will, is a, um, a Sabbath course. So we're talking about all the different Sabbaths, Sawin, Yule, Lunasa, Maven, Ostara, probably missing one. What else do we got? Anyways, there are eight Sabbaths. And yours truly worked very hard on different things in there. I wrote two rituals, like modern rituals, for two of the Sabbaths. I did a spell for one of the Sabbaths, and then I did different types of divination for every single Sabbath. Like, I was in charge of divination. I didn't do the tarot spreads. Another girl did tarot. She had volunteered before I could, because <laughs> tarot is my love. But anyways, um, it was very cool. I got to learn about some new, um, uh, not new, but learned a little bit more about some other um, divinations that I don't normally use in my practice. And one of the divinations is scrying, but we did water scrying and I won't tell you the other one. You'll have to look if you sign up for it. All right, next we have a full moon artisan herbal tea. It contains black tea, orange peel, cinnamon chips, apple pieces, rose petals, and natural fruit and spice flavoring. Three things, oh, three things cannot be hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. And that was a quote by Buddha. So there is that. And then you can see some of the yummies in there. I know it's not focusing very good. Hopefully I have better lighting in my new place when I move in. So I'm assuming that the tea is part of the ritual. Full moon tea. This warming blend of black tea, orange peel, cinnamon chips, apple pieces, rose petals, and natural fruit and spice flavoring is welcome brew when the dark season approaches. For this ritual, place one cup on your altar as an offering to the spirit guest. When finished, brew a second cup for yourself to call back and recenter your energy. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And there is a picture. How pretty is all that? All right, and then we've got our last thing, and it looks like it's an altar cloth. I cannot wait. I've been packing up my stuff. I don't know if you guys can see boxes right here. And I'm like, it sucks because I'm like, where's that crystal? Where's that oil? Did I pack my incense? I did. <laughs> Cause I was, I did a spell last night. Like I said, with, with a key. <laughs> I wanted this, this certain incense and I'd already packed it and it's already like taped shut. So I was like, fuck. So, ooh. So we have this altar cloth. It's kind of velvety and then it's got the gold. How pretty. Very nice. So I'm excited to unpack my stuff when I get to my place and um, and create new altars. I'm so excited. Um, I usually create an altar for the goddess that we work with in our coven. I started to create it and then I packed everything up so I'm kind of sad that my we're working with um, uh, Santa, Santa Morita and I'm kind of sad that I had to pack all that up. But anyways, I will get it back out. All right, altar cloth. Prepare your altar for tonight's ritual by decorating with colors and elements that reflect the culmination of harvest season and the start of winter. Consider colors like black, orange, red, yellow, and earth tones. In addition to an altar cloth, you might want to incorporate candles, crystals, incense, food or beverage offerings, letters or photos of deceased loved ones, seasonal flowers, seeds, or personal relics. Yes. So for your Samhain altar, you definitely want to put out photos of past loved ones because we honor them during this time. So anyways, that is it for our um, Tamed Wild for October 2021. Yes, I'm ADD, so sorry about that. Um, there's a lot of information here about scrying. Whoops. Wait. They've got lots of information cards about the scrying with this awesome freaking uh, glass crystal ball. And I think that's it, guys. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, I am kind of sicky today. I was supposed to see my granddaughter, and um, I've got a sore throat. 
and my boyfriend's son was diagnosed with um, strep throat. So I'm like, great, I probably have strep throat. So <laughs> I am going to go rest now. But yeah, I totally didn't want to get around my granddaughter and possibly make her sick because I have no idea what I've got going on here. So yeah, guys, thanks so much. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Sorry that I'm super ADD. Um, I, I, that's, I'm just ADD. <laughs> if you guys are not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd give me a chance. Um, I am always ADD. I'm sorry about that. But I'd love to hang out with you guys. <laughs> So if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you're already a subscriber, I thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. I will be getting back to my boxes and I will be adding more things. I just need to move into my new apartment, get situated, check out what my finances look like and go from there. And I also need to, um, I need to get studying for a test for work. So I need to get that figured out. But anyways, you will see me. It might not be as much for just a minute until I get my ducks in a row. But yeah, thanks guys. I appreciate you watching. If you don't mind leaving me a thumbs up, it really helps boost my channel and a comment below what you think of this box. What is your favorite item? Um, the book is pretty cool. The freaking crystal ball is awesome. And this key, I'm telling you, was a sign from spirit for me. So guys, cross your fingers that I get my keys next week because I'm ready to move in and as soon as I move in, I'm getting a puppy. I will show you my puppy as soon as I get him, and I'll tell you more about it on my next video. Super excited. So if you guys wouldn't mind sending me some, some positive vibes to get my keys next week, that would be great. Okay, guys, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Blessed be.